In this module, we'll explain how metering works and the related repairs. Symptoms include no regeneration, no salt use, no capacity decline on the control, or no flow indicator on the display. On the 5600 mechanical valve, we check to see if the cable is secure into the top of the meter. We can pull upward to make sure that it is connected properly. There is a crimp at the end of the brass that holds it to the cable. This should be secure. The whole cable should rotate and you can check to make sure it is spinning the dial on the front of the valve. We can then move to the meter cap. There are four screws that hold the meter cap down. We loosen them all and remove it. We can now remove the cap by pulling upward. Inside this opening there are a series of gears. These gears allow us to count the water accurately. They are not able to be replaced so if there is any damage or inaccurate counting of water we may need to replace this cap. We can then look inside the body and look to the impeller checking to make sure that all of the gears are solid and there is no damage. We also check the bottom to make sure there is no wear that would cause it to go off balance. Inside the body, there is an O-ring seal. This makes sure that the cap is sealed down to the body. If we have a leak, this would be what we would look to for replacement. Check the body to make sure there is no other debris. We can then begin reassembly, replacing any components that were damaged. The O-ring should be lubricated with silicone compound. Make sure to use the approved lubricant. We place the O-ring onto the cap and reinstall it into the body. For note, it does not matter which orientation the cap goes on, just so long as the four screws line up. We press down reinstall our four screws and tighten them. Once the four screws are secure, we then take our meter cable and press it firmly into the center of the body. Once everything is secure, we can now repressurize the unit and test our progress. Good luck and thanks for watching.